Benjamin Moore released their Colors of the Year for 2022, and there are some beautiful choices. I want to show you the different colors and then reveal the color of the year. Benjamin Moore's Pale Moon is just dreamy. It is so pretty in a bedroom. I love this picture uh, with the forsythia and the yellow bed. That's a pretty low bed, isn't it? Uh, well, anyway, this looks very pretty and I like it on the ceiling here. I wouldn't have contrasted it with the color that they used, but I think this is a sunshiny, pretty yellow. Wildflower. Benjamin Moore has a beautiful red hue in their lineup this year. Uh, Wildflower is described by them as lightly dusted with hints of pink and orange. They call it a unique red and it's very sophisticated. I think this is very pretty in a dining room just like they show there and I wouldn't have thought of it for a bathroom but it does look like a nice contrast to the white tile that everyone seems to have now. That includes me. Fernwood Green is vibrant and I think it would be really special more so on an accent wall like it's shown here. This reminds me of a Martha Stewart palette. A lot of the greens in the 2022 uh, selections do. Benjamin Moore describes Fernwood Green as warm undertones infuse this leafy green with calming comfort. Names of colors and sometimes their descriptions really get me and draw me into a choice and I really shouldn't let myself do that and I would say please don't do it for your own uh, purposes either. Quiet Moments is a pink color that should be used for exactly that, quiet moments. It's just relaxing and serene. I'm not a blue palette person, but this blue is one of the more tasteful options. It's a little more refined than most blues. This color is described as a gentle mix of blue, green, and gray. It results in a color that exudes tranquility and inspires quiet meditation. That does sound nice, and I'd love to meditate laying out on a raft in that pool, to be honest. Natural linen is exactly that, a very natural and pretty color. Benjamin Moore describes it as like its namesake. This sandy neutral provides just the right amount of rustic warmth and elegance. This is one of those colors that could go anywhere, anytime and look just fine. It is one of those ways to, as they say, neutralize your space if you're selling your home too. Gloucester Sage is one of my favorites. I just love this green. Benjamin Moore describes it as adaptable dark hue that can conjure rain-soaked moss to elegant wrought iron. Oh, how nice. Well, I just love the way it looks and I'm a sucker for this free-form stone uh, because I'm from Bucks County, Pennsylvania and I just love that look. So maybe it's that picture that drew me in, but I also did have a conservatory painted in that exact color. And P.S. Where I'm from, we call this Gloucester. I think it's pronounced so differently in different areas, but that's the way we say it where I am at the moment. The blue hue of Mysterious really takes my breath away. I love it. If you carry the attitude of go big or go home in your decorating style, this color is a great color for you. Mysterious is described as a compelling denim blue that can read as a black paint color or a rich navy. To me, this screams a masculine office, but it also evokes that feeling of a yachtsman's club. I just think it's very, very uh, preppy if you look at it in that light. I can really appreciate the hint of violet shade, but this is my least favorite of the bunch. Not to put it down, it's just that I wouldn't use it. And I also had a cardigan this color once and I looked terrible in it. Anyway, hint of violet does look very serene and Benjamin Moore describes it as an eye-pleasing lilac with a cool gray cast. Morning Dew is the third green that I've shown you, and there are many more to come. It's a year of green for Benjamin Moore. They're calling this a soothing gray tone with a touch of green. 
This color reminds me of spring and Easter eggs and Martha Stewart like the other green colors that they showed us. This seems best suited to me for a living room. If you have one of those homes that has the great room or family room plus the living room in the front of the house, I think this is a pretty color for that purpose. High Park is the fourth green I'm showing you. This reminds me of the lake house look. Um, I think it's very sophisticated, but it also is one of those things where it just looks relaxing, a great place for people to get together and hang out and have great conversations. I think this would be really beautiful in a number of settings. I would just stay away from using it in a very small room, especially not a bathroom or a powder room. Collector's item is another color where the name just drew me in, but the beautiful pictures of this color kept me there. I love it. Benjamin Moore is describing it as a pink tinged off-white, and I think this looks so calming, but also just in a charming home that um, has beautiful things and interesting things to look at, just like its name. Venetian portico is worldly and complex. Venetian portico can fit into a number of design styles, modern or traditional. I think it would just bring something really special to any home and make it feel like it's a little deeper and dramatic. I had this color in a powder room in my first home. My mother walked in and said, this color looks like mud but she is incorrect even though I love her so much. I've taken the time to show you all of the colors in the 2022 Color of the Year palette, but we're reserving the Color of the Year for the end. So, introducing to you Benjamin Moore's Color for 2022, October Mist. Is it any surprise to you that it's green? They had to pick from so many different colors in their palette to decide which one was the best, and the odds were that it would turn up green. October Mist is evocative of the stem of a flower. This gently shaded sage anchors and uplifts. Well, isn't that a pretty way of describing it? This color is amazing, and I'm glad that they made it number one. I'm also in love with this kitchen. Well done, Benjamin Moore. I think you chose a beautiful color of the year in October Mist. The entire palette is very beautiful, something kind of for everyone. It's got what they call the intrigue of the mysterious color, and then some more subtle things. Something for modern, something for traditional, and I think it's just a fabulous selection for 2022. Thank you so much for watching the Happiest Places Home channel. Please take a moment to comment. Also, if you could like this video, it would help our channel a lot. And a special message to my wonderful subscribers. We have just completed building a house and I've been a little bit busy with the move, but I am so excited to show you how everything turned out.